Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shoppers Show and we are continuing our Cape Town tour and really what is a Cape Town tour without this mansion located right here on the beachfront in Camps Bay. Camps Bay a name synonymous with opulence and luxury and this home encapsulates it all. So guys without further ado let us show you this three story mansion. So here we are within the first bedroom. Now this home, as I mentioned, is three floors and the bedrooms are located on the floor as you walk in. Now guys, usually I save the bedrooms for last, but trust me, there is so much to talk about this incredible home that this is just the tip of the iceberg. So first bedroom, let us discuss it. We've got wood flooring where the rest of the home is tiled, bulkhead ceilings, down lighting, giving you just the right mood, dimmable down lighter, should I say, and then a sliding door leading out onto your balcony. And that sliding door, as well as the windows, has got privacy tint on it. So you know you're not gonna have nosy neighbors looking. Now, behind me here, plenty of cupboard space, and just around the corner is an ensuite bathroom. So let's take a look at that, and then let's tour the rest of the rooms on this floor. Now, moving into the bathroom, we changed that beautiful wood flooring for tiles. You've got a walk-in shower, glass lined, and then a standalone sandstone basin with undercounter storage, big mirror, a charging area for your shavers or your hair straighteners, and then what I do want to mention is all of the rooms in this house, including the bathrooms, have heated flooring. And here we are, second room within this beautiful home in Camps Bay, so let's talk about it. Wood flooring, bulkhead ceilings, that mood lighting that's incredible. We've got frosted glass sliding windows above the bed and then access through a sliding door onto your front patio, but then we've also got your cupboard space, obviously your heated floorings and an ensuite bathroom that we're gonna talk about right now. Now, moving into the bathroom, we changed that beautiful wood flooring for tiles. You've got a walk-in shower, glass lined, and then a standalone sandstone basin with undercounter storage, big mirror, a charging area for your shavers or your hair straighteners. And then what I do want to mention is all of the rooms in this house, including the bathrooms, have heated flooring. So we've come out of that bedroom, but I want to stop right here for a moment. First, you've got your linen cupboard on the right hand, oh sorry, on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, we've got this door and it's a double hinged door. So when open, it stays out of the way. And then on my left hand side, you've got your laundry room. So under counter space for all of your appliances, it also leads outdoors and it's got a double sink for all the washing up. And then there are two more rooms we need to showcase downstairs. The first is the last bedroom located on this floor. And that can so easily be mistaken as a master bedroom. Take a look at this corner over here, full glass corner looking into your shower. Not too shabby. But take a look at this room, plenty of space. You've got a sliding door that looks out onto your deck and that beautiful blue pool. Really, who's gonna complain about it? Let me move this side. We've got some furniture, we've got this massive king bed, and then again, an ensuite bathroom that we're gonna showcase because luxury is luxury and we're gonna show you all of the luxury. And here we are within this floor's master bedrooms, master bathroom. It would be a gross injustice to call it anything but that. We've got our double vanity, under counter storage, this beautiful marble countertop. And something I'd like you to notice is in all the bathrooms we've showcased, the wall tile isn't tiled, it's one massive slab of marble. That is what we call luxury. Then matching those bases, we've got this freestanding pebble-shaped bathtub and then I'm gonna to have to call this the creme de la creme. 
We've got a glass walk-in shower that is fully open for everybody to look into. But really, guys, how cool is this? How opulent, how luxurious, how much of a superstar are you going to feel showering in here? But this is not even the least of this home. So let's head upstairs and take a look at what the second floor has to offer. Now, before we head upstairs, I cannot forget to talk about the pajama lounge located on the first floor. Just outside of our master bedroom, you'll find a pajama lounge, a TV room, fully open out onto the deck, a really awesome place to sit down and relax whenever you want it. Very spacious, beautiful views and so much light. Now, coming from your first floor, we now make our way up to the second. But what I do want to notice, or mention at least, is that this staircase, as beautiful as it is, walnut and chrome finishes, leads all the way down to a bottom area that contains your two-car garage, and there are also more parking spaces in front of that garage. So you do have fully enclosed parking, but really, is that even a question? But here we are within the living areas of this home, and how stunning is this? I don't even know where to start. So where I will start is, here is, your formal dining room area, let me just move out the way because this incredible chandelier is blocking me. Glass dining room table, really, really nice. So much space, it's an eight-seater dining room table and it looks diminutive in this home. Bulkhead ceilings all around. These awesome pillars over here that really do bring an air of like a fancy New York nightclub in this home. And then we've got this fireplace where have we really even seen anything like it? Gas fireplace molded in the same vein as these pillars and then out here, oh, can you imagine winter's here? And it's a little bit nippy in Cape Town, so I'm really tempted to put that on and just sit back and relax. But right here, we are in our formal lounge area, TV area, views all out of the mountain. We've got Table Mountain just behind us, uninterrupted views, sun just peeking over. Plenty of space here. And then, of course, your own balcony outside. Now guys, if you like hot tubs as much as I do, you can not only put a hot tub out here, but also on the roof. Yet, there is more, so let me wrap around this way. Look at all the space, guys. It is done fantastically. It feels spacious, feels open, plenty of natural light, and that view is incredible, but it doesn't feel empty, which is what we love so much. Now, here we are within your kitchen. We've got a massive island with a quartz countertop, plenty of under counter storage. These bulkhead ceilings almost feel, making this feel like a room of itself, which I really like. It feels like it's quartered off from the rest of the house, but it's not fully open plan. Space for a fridge. You've got your built-in microwave, more storage over here. And just over here, behind this full-length mirror, we've got a guest toilet. But let's move over here. We've got a gas countertop, Siemens, Siemens extractor with some glass on it, Siemens oven, and then behind me, we've got a pantry. So let me show you the pantry. Let's take a look at the outside area in front of this kitchen, and then I think it's time for us to go upstairs. Got two fully opening sliding windows giving you uninterrupted views of Lion's Head, and then obviously your double sink, so all your washing up is out of way. Under counter storage for all of your appliances, even more cupboard space should you need it. It really is kitted out to the max and oh so convenient in terms of its placement. And coming out of this kitchen, you're on your middle floor patio. I mean, when you've got not one, not two, but three balconies, you know you're living the life. As I mentioned, tinting on all the sliding doors, making sure that not too much light enters your living areas. And this patio looks down onto your pool area. Beautiful wood decking, 
really blue pool and a lot of privacy, specifically when houses are built on homes like this. So we love how they've done that. We love the greenery in the garden, the shrubbery that is done so well. But guys, we've wrapped up this middle floor. We've got one floor left. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what could be on that top floor? And we're gonna answer that question right now. So I want you to come with me and let's go all the way up. And another walnut and chrome staircase leads me all the way up. I love the wallpaper on the side of the house. We've got windows all the way at the top of the staircase so it never feels dingy, it never feels dark because we are in one of the best, one of the most master of all master bedrooms that I've ever seen. Now on my right hand side, massive windows that open up looking out onto Lion's Head. That's a view I could wake up to every day. We've got a king bed over here that feels almost diminutive again. Beautiful chandelier above me, lounge set. We've got a display cabinet or display shelving, should I say. You've got your very own sunroom outside and then your own balcony as well for you to enjoy. And that balcony, you can put a jacuzzi on. It's been rated for jacuzzis, it's been rated for the weight of the water. So if you wanna have a jacuzzi with 180 degree ocean views in Camps Bay, this is the house to have it. And nobody's buying a house in Camps Bay unless you wanna sit in a jacuzzi. So, I've wrapped up everything here. Bulkhead ceilings, beautiful lighting. Let's talk about the bathroom. Let's talk about the walk-in closet. Now, this master suite doesn't have one, but it has two bathrooms. The first being your floating toilet, hidden system. Again, that awesome sandstone floating basin with under counter storage, and then a massive walk-in shower, again, with views of lion head. So we love that. But what do we love more than that? We love a second bathroom. So let's check that out. And here is that second bathroom. Now this second bathroom doubles as a walk-in closet with cupboards framing two of the four walls. We've got double basins here, double vanities, double mirrors, plenty of undercounter storage. And then we have this jacuzzi bath with windows on both of the walls looking out onto the ocean. Now this jacuzzi bath really is top of the line, jets all over. So if you're looking for a nice relaxing bath, this is the house you need. But we have wrapped up this property. We just haven't spoken price and we haven't spoken how you can purchase it. So let's go outside onto the roof deck and let's talk about that. And there you have it folks, we have fully toured a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 15 million 995,000 rand property right here in the heart of Camps Bay. If you take a look behind me, that view in and of itself should be selling this property. So what I want you to do, if you're looking to purchase this, contact Martin Fisser from Knox Property and he will gladly arrange a viewing whenever you need it. Guys, this home is incredible. It definitely is one of the most impressive homes I've ever had the pleasure of touring. So from myself, Chad Viveros from the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, as well as from everybody at Private Property, we love you. Mwah. The Cape Town Tour isn't over, and we will see you next time.